A former Little Rock police officer is fighting for his badge after being fired for untruthfulness and being involved in an investigation where his wife was one of the victims. A city HR investigator later called the firing retaliation by the police chief. KRK Force Mitch McCoy has been in civil service commission hearings the last two days. And Mitch, this all comes down to two policy violations. Yeah, we're talking about almost 20 hours worth of testimony so far. They've already canceled, or excuse me, they've already uh, wrapped up for the day and we're just getting started. Many more witnesses to go. The city claims former officer David Maddox was too involved in the investigation where a man was exposing himself to women in West Little Rock and in the Heights. Maddox's attorney, including several supervisors, say Maddox did a job that other detectives failed to do when a sexual predator appeared to be an increasing threat to public safety. I aware that um, an officer's wife had um, was a victim of indecent exposure. Former Detective Aaron Mathis was the lead investigator on the case where Officer David Maddox's wife was one of the victims. Officer Maddox claims while on patrol, he spotted the suspect's truck and reported it back to a detective supervisor. I would have ran the, the license plate through um, a system we call ACIC. Attorneys say it took more than a month for that to happen. So there, there wasn't a, a, a working file, which is unusual. Truly, uh, it was a very simple case that you know, it, it was solved in a couple of hours, basically. The city argues Officer Maddox himself ran the suspect's license plate in the state crime database several times involving his wife's case. And his wife ID'd the suspect during a photo lineup and claimed that she never saw the suspect's photo before, but actually did on Facebook. The city says she overheard her husband mention the suspect's name on a phone call. At one point, the detective sergeant says something felt off because her supervisor, a lieutenant, and another sergeant got involved in her case. I think that he should have stepped over into our squad. At any point, were you beyond contact? I don't think I was completely without my phone. The city also argues Maddox was a block away during the suspect's arrest and was at the police substation when the suspect was. A lieutenant says Maddox had permission by a supervisor to be there and should not be in trouble. So he shouldn't be punished for being there? Not at all. Police Chief Keith Humphrey also fired Maddox for untruthfulness. Untruthfulness, excuse me. Maddox first said he did not fill out any paperwork, but actually did when filling out a portion of an arrest report. The lead detective also forgot he himself filled out a portion of the same arrest report, which he had to correct in his testimony. Last month, a city HR investigator claimed Maddox was fired in retaliation by Humphrey. The commission denied a request to hear any of her testimony. The hearing was wrapped up for the day and will continue at a later date. Back to you.